Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we are gonna go and get some stuff uninstalled on my Audi SQ5. Um, we are selling the Audi SQ5 and trading it in for a uh, Mark 7 GTI, uh, which is gonna be a sort of downgrade um, from the B9 Audi SQ5. I have a, I currently have a 2018 Audi SQ5 and excuse the dirt yes it is dirty um, and it is the prestige pack edition so it's got all the things in the front the uh, parking sensors cameras all sorts of bells and whistles um, with that it, was, it actually had the sports pack that came with it um, so it has 22 inch rims it has the upgraded brakes it has quite a bit of awesome things to include even the interior and then I'll show you what I did here with so I even installed a tow hitch on it it's a really good car but unfortunately I can't afford it um, so the back seats have a lot of great things in it these are the upgraded seats in the uh, Prestige model. I'll show you the front inside of the car. This car is really beautiful. i kind of sad to see it go. So when I bought it, five or six five or six months ago um, it had like 5,000 miles and now you can see it has 44,000 so the cool thing about the Audis is the upgraded um, like console front console so you have your maps and stuff that's notes change the view pull the map up I mean you got all different kinds of things that you can turn to um, not bad it does have upgrading light lighting and things in it so like it has where you can change the different color lights which is pretty nice um, the MMI is nice but it's definitely kind of challenging to use uh, it's not like any other thing that I've seen before where you have touchscreen these uh, Audi MMI's are, are pretty decent um, So it has a lot of carbon fiber trim pieces that I think that might come customary with the uh, car itself and then this one is nice because it's got the big old panoramic sunroof as you can see Um, if y'all are wondering how much this car cost me a month, it is $800. Um, my wife and I had to go for something much cheaper. Yeah, as you can see, so it's the whole panoramic center. We had to go with something cheaper because um, I'm no longer in the military. I was an active duty E6. E e um, and I was recently medically retired for a mental disability really just a bunch of disabilities but mental is my main one um other things about this car uh it's fun to drive uh stock it's got like 350 horsepower 360 something foot pounds of torque so it's already the same on paper theoretically the same as the gti but the gti itself is a lot lighter car so it'll be a lot faster um, the GTI that I'm getting when I show when I show it off to you all it's actually a uh, sorry Ian. the GTI that I'm getting is actually it's an Autobahn so it's fully pretty much it's fully kitted for manufacture it's got the sunroof um it's got the automated cruise control which i never use i don't even like cruise control uh the one that i'm getting has the automatic which the manuals are a lot cheaper 
Um, the DSG is actually a pretty good transmission, especially if uh, you tune it and make it want to, you know, make it into a race car. Um, it has the the 18 inch rims, which the rims are nothing to write home about, but they're placeholders to be able to buy um, rims later on with with good tires. So in all. Um, we're going to get that vehicle and it's going to be about a $400 a month car payment. Still kind of high, but it's significantly lower than what I've been paying. $400 lower than what I've been paying a month on the Audi. Um, if y'all are wondering, how do you pay for that thing? Um, well, when I was in, I made pretty good money. Uh, I would say about 60 something annual and it made it really affordable and now it's like it's not affordable so my wife has a new escape that we pay about five hundred dollars edge she has an edge we pay about five hundred dollars and we'll be paying four hundred on the gti now i do have a pension that comes in um a retirement pension that does help and my wife does work um but we pretty much we're trying to downsize, not necessarily like downsize our house and stuff because our mortgage is only around 900, but downsize in total. Like, like for instance, we have four motorcycles. We're gonna get rid of two, and those two are gonna be our Groms that we bought. Um, the Groms are a lot of fun, but I have a SV650 and she has a CBR500, which is ample enough for us to do whatever we want like it's actually more than um so that's something that we're we're going to be doing uh in the future as well and that's going to help me because i technically cannot work but if i find like a side job while i'm doing something at home um that's going to help out significantly hey everybody uh just finished washing the car and I only got 30 minutes of footage, which is not n not enough. So I will eventually do a deep cleaning car video uh, when I get the new GTI. The process ended up taking about two hours, which it probably takes on average maybe 15 minutes to wash a car. But I do have. Uh, a little bit of OCD where I want to make sure that everything is meticulous so I mean I took this thing through spray on uh, soap I've taken it through two runs of uh, clear soap um, the pink soap and I even went through with a, a towel and scrubbed the side because I wasn't happy with the uh, way that it turned out when everything was said and done I ended up going back and spraying on wax and wiping it uh, to buff it and I did this for a good probably 30 minutes or so because the car needed it but it looks like a million and two dollars now like it, it looks better than taking it to the car wash and pulling it through and having somebody do a quick little detail job on it um, one of the things that I don't do, believe it or not, is go in and a lot of people will detail the inside of their car. To me, that's a lot of work, you know, like you got to do the dashboard, you got to do some other things. I'm like, shoot, I, I'd much rather pay somebody to do the uh, inside. So unfortunately, I didn't get the, the footage that I wanted. I got to see what I captured with the GoPro. If I, I guarantee you it didn't capture no two hours worth. The uh, I shot on the GoPro Hero 8, and it does not have the best battery life. So, you know, we'll see what we'll see what we got. If we have no footage, then I will, uh, like I said, I'll shoot a video at a later time. I know my wife's car needs washed, and we'll do it. It's a white car, so it's going to need a little bit less than what I had to put into my black Audi. Blemishes in the paint and stuff. The car is four years old, but it's nice. Got its last little bath right before we go to... Uh, we're going to CarMax to sell it, so it was a great car. Miss you while you're uh, gone, but the GTI we're getting is going to be plenty enough. 
Alright everybody.